crazy crab in for entertainment hacker today going to talk a little more dark fate going to be spoilers heavy 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 spoilers so if you haven't seen it yet going to be spoilers so first of all got to give a shout out to zen master me zen master me thanks for the support right here on entertainment hacker i'm going to flip the script a little bit and talk about what the defenders have to say about the opening scene in the john connor situation and what and what they're trying to say because i want to like this movie i want to like this movie and if there's any way that i can accept this and say i was wrong i apologize it works it's awesome man bring it on is it going to happen hell no but let's take a look at any way at what they have to say and what they had to say was very simply john connor achieved his mission he achieved the goal him and his mom in terminator 2 took out skynet they stopped judgment day there's going to be no judgment day and indeed it showed the beginning of dark fate Judgment Day happening, and then they showed it not happening because they stopped it. Sarah Connor says, but we prevented it from happening. So, since their goal was accomplished, John Connor achieved what he was meant for, what his fate was meant to do, which was to stop Judgment Day. Here's the problem. Not just that a Terminator was sent back to kill him and shot him two times in the chest unceremoniously. Okay, I still get what they're saying. Okay, he achieved his goal. He is a hero. He stopped Judgment Day with his mom. Okay, fine. But what happens later in the movie? I mean, I know the movie exists, so obviously something has to happen. We want to see Terminators. We want to see action. But still, what happens in the movie? Judgment Day happens. It's maybe not called Judgment Day. It's maybe not called Skynet. It's the same thing. And then we have a hero who is gender swapped. It's all the same thing. It's the exact same thing, as even going as far as sending back a protector to protect the savior of the future. You need to keep her alive at all costs. A movie has already done this, and that was T3. A lot of people say they ripped off T2. I probably said it too, like it's the same plot as T2. If you really think about it, they even more specifically ripped off T3, because Terminator 3 stated that you cannot stop Judgment Day. It won't be stopped. It can't be stopped. It's fate. You can delay it, but you can't stop it. Same thing here. They just changed the company. They just tried to do that so that they could replace John Connor and have this new girl. Fine, they did it, but they ripped off T3 in more ways than one. In more ways than one. The way that the villain was killed at the end, it was pretty much the exact thing, the way they're able to defeat the bad Terminator. But they borrowed the entire plot from Terminator 3. Now, maybe they did it better in some people's opinions. That's fine. It's clearly a different movie. I mean, different experience, different action scenes. But overall, same idea. Like, we don't know where to go with this story. The story was told in Terminator 1 and 2. There's really nothing else to tell because they stopped Judgment Day. The only thing we can do to make another movie and try to make more money ironically enough, because they're going to lose money, is to say Judgment Day is still going to happen. Judgment Day is still going to happen. It has to happen to have a movie, in, in their opinion. They couldn't come up with something else. Okay, fine. But to kill John Connor off the way they did was going to piss off a whole lot of fans, and it just wasn't smart from the aspect of wanting to make a successful film and make money and make people happy. They did everything wrong they possibly could to do that. And on top of that, I'm one who's not happy about it either because it would have been so easy to have John Connor, whether he's cast as Edward Furlong as adult, which was what I, what I would have liked because he doesn't have to be in great shape. He doesn't have to have a six pack. They stopped Judgment Day. He wasn't training his whole life. They, they thought it was stopped. There's no, going to be no Terminators to worry about. So it doesn't really matter what he looks like. I mean, it'd be nice if he gets in shape for the role, but John Connor can start that movie as an adult. And when things start going down and when Terminators start coming back, he can be a hero. He can help. He can fight. He can do something. And then he can actually get killed off in a heroic way and he lived to adulthood at least and he gets killed off in a heroic way and then your story can move forward with Danny Ramos or whoever you want and then the fans would not have been pissed off they would have loved it it would have been like universally people would have been like oh my gosh that was amazing that was awesome nobody would have been hey you killed off John Connor maybe there would have been a few but we're not going to be mad that you killed off a character if you do it right at least I wouldn't I don't know you can kill a, a character is one thing to move on the story. I understand John Connor has been botched multiple times. Maybe it was time to move on from John Connor, but all they had to do was give him a little bit of a better exit instead of boom, boom, dead in the chest, on the ground, dead, the same kid that we knew. How could they think that was a good idea? And the people that defend it and say he accomplished the mission, he stopped Judgment Day, but Judgment Day happens anyway. 
yeah, he stopped it, and then he just get killed off, and then it happens, and the whole thing happens again. I know it's you say, oh, it's about fate. It, you know, if humans are going to mess up no matter what, and now we're going to have a future war, and we're going to see Danny Ramos, which we're not because they're not going to make any sequels, but they planned to give us more movies with Danny Ramos fighting in the future war. We really never got John Connor except in Salvation, and that everybody accepts was not the best movie. And it's just a shame that the whole Terminator franchise is based around Sarah Connor and John Connor. And we never got the future war movies that did John Connor right that we really wanted to see. And now we're not even going to get the Danny Ramos future war because they blew it with this movie so bad. They absolutely botched this whole movie marketing wise going with the SJW She's going to scare the heck out of misogynists. What is that? Then with the poster, and then you kill John Connor. Like, in a franchise that's already struggling, that's had a hard time coming out with hits in a while. They've been struggling with the franchise, and that was their plan. Absolutely laughable. Absolutely unbelievable. Who are these people running these billion-dollar movie franchises? Star Wars, Terminator, who are these people? What is wrong with these people? They'd be better off grabbing a couple of random fans off the street. Go to your local Comic-Con. Find a couple people wearing Terminator t-shirts. Y'all want to make a movie? They'd have done a better job. It's absolutely pathetic. But going back to the point of the video, the people that defend that scene, I get what you're saying. I get it that he already accomplished his mission and you can kill him off. But there's two problems. Number one, it happens anyway, so he really didn't accomplish his mission. It just got delayed, which means they ripped off Terminator 3. But more importantly, you couldn't give him a little better exit. You couldn't give him a little bit of a more of a heroic death. And he didn't have to be a kid. He could have been 18. He could have been 20. He could have been 30. He could have been whatever age you wanted him to be preferably probably the age he is now because you could have had him and linda hamilton still together his mom and son you know they've grew up there they're older and something happens but he has a more heroic death and now sarah connor's effing pissed because it just happened she is pissed and she wants to help and whoever now you got danny ramos you got the other girl you got grace and now you can make your story and people are going to be into it emotionally we're going to be into it emotionally and then it's going to if it's good enough we're going to tell other people we're all going to go see it and y'all are going to make money and then you can make more movies instead of being broke and losing whatever millions of dollars that they're going to lose on this movie absolute pathetic joke Thank you for joining me on this video today, and I'm out of here. My name is Crazy Crab. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you next time.